Hello everyone, it's Angelo Bottle here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Smash Bros. 3, where we'll be taking on Night 3 in this video, which I have to enter the passcode like you do in Five Nights at Smash Bros. 1 and 2. And the passcode for this night is Prototype Luigi. Or, Kirby, sorry. Which I am entering it right now. And like it does in the first and second game, the music starts over once you enter the passcode. So without further ado, we'll do night three. And there's a tip. If Prototype Fox is in the left hall, play the alarm if he's there. Okay, well, Prototype Fox doesn't do anything except come in your office. Like, he doesn't kill you or anything. Alright, so, Prototype Fox is going to be active this night. And so we got to deal... So we don't have to deal with him necessarily, but he's going to be active this night. And I'll check my office for when the others come. Which is Prototype Luigi. And then Prototype Mario, when he's active, will have to sound the alarm for him too. Which he will be active on night 4. And then Wolf will be active on night 5. The interesting part is that Fox is not in the Final Smash Bros. 2. He's only in Final Smash Bros. 1 and 3. And I believe the other two games, I could be wrong. In Final Smash Bros. 2, the new characters are Mewtwo and Falco. So yeah, for these games, like for the next, for like the second game, we get the same characters and then some new characters. Same with this game. Okay. So I see, I see, tw I see prototype Mo Kirby's moving. And I gotta check the whole camera, of course. And I just saw Prototype Luigi move. I want to check on Prototype Mario because he's not going to be act He's not active this night. Prototype Fox is active. Alright, so if I see Prototype Fox in the left hallway, I just have to sound the alarm. To, like, get rid of him. Even though he's not going to do any, like, thing to me. Except just spaz out in the office. This is definitely... His feature is kind of like with Final Fantasy Smash Bros. 2. Like with Balloon Pichu. Like with Balloon Pichu. Like he'll just... He won't do anything when he comes in the office. Like he just... He just spazzes it out. And Prototype Fox is... I hear Prototype Fox moving. So he'll be coming out of his cove. Or the curtains. I just saw... I just heard him moving. I didn't see him though. And I gotta put the camera down and check for Prototype Luigi because he will come in the office too. And I have to sound the alarm, of course. And then Prototype Fox you'll only see at the left hallway and then in your office. Okay, I hear I hear him walking again. Okay, there's Prototype Kirby. He's coming toward the vents. So I can listen for him, and then I haven't checked on Prototype Luigi because I've been checking the office to see when he'll come. Alright, it worked. I got rid of Prototype Fox. Perfect. Prototype Fox, the good thing is he's not going to kill you. You just have to um, play the alarm when he's there. Or in the left hallway. And if he comes in your office, well, he won't do anything except spaz, up, spaz around like, like Prototype Pichu does. Okay, I heard Prototype Luigi, so I got to play the alarm. Okay, got rid of him. Perfect. And Prototype Kirby. Perfect. I'm checking on Prototype Fox to see if I, he's moved yet. He hasn't. Alright, perfect. Because he will start on Cam 4 and then go to Cam 9. And that's when i got to play the alarm. And it actually works though. I didn't think it would work for him, but it does. So we have got ourselves a strategy down. Okay, I hear him moving. 
Ignore the voice in the background, boys. Because these happen from time to time in the videos. Okay. Okay, prototype Fox. Okay, he's not there yet. I'm ch checking below my office. See if prototype Luigi's coming. He's not. All I see is prototype Kirby. I can only recognize him because he still has the chef hat on. Because I couldn't recognize him at first. <laughs> Okay, let's play the alarm. Because Prototype Fox is in the left hallway. Okay, good, he left. Perfect. It's interesting how he won't kill you in this game, but in the first game, he kills you. Check for Prototype Luigi, Prototype Kirby's move. He will come toward the vent soon. And I hear him moving, of course. And of course, in this game, we have unlimited power like the second game. The first game, we only have a limited amount of power to use. Okay. Okay. There's prototype Luigi, which he will come through soon. He actually bashes through the window. Like, he literally crashes through the window when he enters. I hear Prototype Fox moving. And I got calls off the van because Prototype Kirby, I just heard him. Oh, gotta play the alarm. Prototype Luigi's coming. Got rid of him, perfect. Now I gotta listen for Prototype Fox because once you hear the third movement, he comes to the left hallway. As shown in there. Sound of the alarm, perfect. Alright, got rid of him, good. And then he goes back to camp four. Well, it's a good thing Mario doesn't have voice clip in this game. Same with the second game. Because in the first game, Mario has a voice clip and it, and it like almost always startled me. Okay, I hear Prototype Fox. Perfect. Alright, we beat Night 3. Perfect. And we will take on Night 4 in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit that like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.